So we'd like to speak something first of all about the significance of this Vyasa Puja ceremony. The Vyasa Puja means honoring the a person who is representative of Srila Vyasa Srila Vyasa Dev, of course, was the disciple of Narada Muni. And Srila Vyasa Dev has given us scriptures such as the Mahabharata, the Srimad Bhagavatam, and uh, all the Puranas. Uh, and Vedanta Sutra also comes from Srila Vyasa Dev. So we're very much indebted to Srila Vyasa Dev. The seat which the spiritual master sits on is referred to as the Vyasa Asana, the seat of the representative of Vyasa Dev. So, to, to sit on the seat of Vyasa Dev, Srila Prabhupada explains in Srimad Bhagavatam requires qualification. Uh, the, the 
We should be, the, the qualification is that they should be familiar with the different philosophical systems. Right, there are six different philosophical systems. Like the Patanjali Yoga Sutra. And from Gautama you have logic. And then you have uh, the Karmakanda from Jaimini. And you have also uh, the Vedanta comes from Vyasa Dev. And you have uh, the other different impersonal philosophies. But it is Vedanta which is the, considered the supreme of the six different philosophical systems. So the representative of Vyasadeva is expecting to be familiar with these different philosophical systems. Right. The qualifications of the spiritual master are also described in books like uh, Rupa Goswami Supadesha Amrita. Vachovigam Manasakroda Vigam, Jiva Vigam, Udarupasta Vigam, Vitan Vidan Yovishahe Tadira, Sarvam Apimam Pratidim Shashisha. The one who tolerates the urge to speak, the mind's demands, the reactions of anger, and the urges of the tongue, the belly, and genitals. Then is qualified to make disciples all over the In other words, spiritual master has to control the senses. He has to use the senses in the service of Krishna. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it also describes how some people may be, they may have very good qualities, but they may not preach. And some people preach, but they may not have good qualities. So it's very important that the spiritual master has, first of all, the good qualities and he also preaches. The Krishna consciousness movement requires preachers. And just like before, the Krishna con before, before the Krishna consciousness movement came to Nepal, it was a Vaishnava kingdom, but there was not much Krishna consciousness. So, uh, in 1977, Prabhu Vishnu had gone to Bangladesh. He was serving at that time myself, Mahavishnu and Prabhavishnu, we were all brahmacharis and we were all working in the BBT library party. Yeah, we were traveling all over India to all the colleges and schools and temples and anywhere where they had a library, we would go and sell them Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita Prabhupada's books. So Prabhupada got the idea to go to Bangladesh. And 
He had good success distributing Prabhupada's books in Bangladesh. He had good success distributing Prabhupada's books in Bangladesh. He had good success distributing Prabhupada's books in Bangladesh. He had good success distributing Prabhupada's books in Bangladesh. And Prabhupada was very happy that he was going to these places, Bangladesh and Nepal. So Prabhupada told him he wanted that we should go there to these countries and establish Krishna consciousness. Although Bangladesh is a Muslim country, there are still many Hindus there. Many villages are just full of Hindus. And they do wonderful kirtan. They love kirtan. kirtan so Prabhupada wanted devotees to go there and preach. And he said the same about Nepal, that there are many devotees, many Vaishnavas there. And Prabhupada said, "I will support you. I will give you money to go there and preach." Because Prabhupada knew Nepal, Bangladesh are not rich countries. Like India. So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So Prabhupada said, "I will support you to go there and preach." So he he was made the GBC for Nepal and Bangladesh also. So he was the GBC for Nepal and Bangladesh also. Preaching, this is the qualification of the spiritual master. So, the preaching is also a qualification of the spiritual master. So, the preaching is also a qualification of the spiritual master. So, the preaching is also a qualification of the spiritual master. So, the preaching is also a qualification of the spiritual master. So, the preaching is also a qualification of the spiritual master. And distribute the books also. Introduce the Krishna conscious philosophy. Yao jie jiao jie shao bie you guan kui shang zi you de zhe xue. So the spiritual master he preaches this this message. So Li Lao Shi chuan bo jie chuan bo zhe ge xin xi xin xi. And we see. How the Krishna consciousness movement has spread like this all over the world. So you can see, Krishna consciousness is spreading like this all over the world. Of course, Jayapatakaswami likes to. He would love to travel to Nepal. Jayapatakaswami likes 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 to travel to Nepal. Uh, many places, he, they would, uh, of course, they wouldn't, they would invite him to come. He would go countries like South America, some places in South America, nobody likes to go. He would go. Just like Prabhupada. Prabhupada's god brothers, none of them wanted to leave the holy place. Because they had heard one or two, two or three of them had gone in the time of Baptist Siddhanta, they had gone to Europe. So when they were there, somebody asked what we need to do to become a Brahmin, and they told them, you have to follow four principles. He went to Europe. 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 He went how this, the people there said it's impossible to follow four principles. And they went to Europe, they went to Europe, they went to Europe, they went to Europe. 
Nobody wanted, so nobody wanted to go to the West to preach. So in that time, so no one wanted to go to the West to preach. Just like Prabhupada had one god brother, Bon Maharaj. Bon, Bon, Bon. Just like Prabhupada had one god brother, Bon Maharaj. Bon, Bon, Bon. Just like Prabhupada had one god brother, Bon Maharaj. Bon, Bon, Bon. Just like Prabhupada had one god brother, Bon Maharaj. Bon, Bon, Bon. Just like Prabhupada had one god brother, Bon Maharaj. To Germany by Baptist Siddhanta. Ah, Bon Maharaj is one of the Baptist Siddhanta, uh, 派往欧洲传教的一个门徒之一 So when Prabhupada began the Krishna consciousness movement, some of his people, some of his followers, said to him, "Why don't you also go to the to the Western countries?" His follower, Bon Maharaj's follower, said to him, "Why, not the Bon, Bon Maharaj? Why don't you? Why don't you also go again to the West?" Ah, 好了，那个包括去西方传教的时候，包括那些门徒，那些人说，你为什么不再去欧洲传传教呢 ？He said, "I wouldn't like to preach to those people." 啊，他说，我可不想向那些人传教。Because you know, Prabhupada's disciples, we were all young people. 因为大家都知道，哈帕的门徒都是年轻人。And sometimes, often, we were referred to as coming from the hippies. 一般都那时候都来自于西皮士，那他们的哈帕门徒。Actually, we were all seekers of truth. We were looking for the truth. 呃，实际上我们都在寻找真理。Yeah, yeah. We were looking for the truth, but we and we found it in the Krishna consciousness movement. 最后，我们在归神之觉运动中找到了真理。But people in the beginning had these bad impressions about Hare Krishna devotees. 但刚开始啊，人们对 Hare Krishna 的人们的印象不那么好。So Prabhupada's god brothers, they thought also like that that to go to the West, you have to talk, you have to preach to all these young people who are, you know, low character, bad character. 对，就像抛花那些门徒，抛花那些神经病，刚开始也这么想。去西方传教，你传那那些人叫什么？品格那么那么坏，那么品品格那么低劣的人。So we don't want to preach to those people. 我们可不想向那些人传教。But Prabhupada did it. He went everywhere. 但是抛花却做到了这一点，他什么地方他都去。He went where people nobody else wanted to go. 所以他跑跑去了没有人想去的地方。And Jai Pataka Swami also had that kind of mood. He liked to go everywhere. Jai Pataka Swami 就有跑跑这个心态，他想去任何的地方去传教。Yeah, he he is also called GBC for country which I preach in Thailand. 他他也是那个国家，像泰呃泰国恩。泰国的 GBC。呃，泰加泰国的那个合合作副 GBC。Uh, so he's involved in preaching in so many parts of the world. And he would come to Hong Kong and he would preach in Hong Kong. So he has some Chinese disciples. He's never gone into mainland China. Because his health is not allowed it. 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 Because his health is not allowed This is a very important qualification for all devotees. This is a very important qualification for all devotees. This is a very important qualification for all devotees. This is a very important qualification for all devotees. This is a very important qualification for all devotees. This is a very important qualification for all devotees. This is a very important qualification for 以充满智慧的要去努力，就是努力，你还得有充智慧，还得聪明，不是瞎努力。We have to think how to properly spread the Krishna consciousness movement. 就是我们要想如何正确的、恰当的去传播 Krishna 之主。How to bring 
people into Krishna consciousness and make them good quality devotees. It's not just only come, give people beats and give them a name and go. We have to train people to become Krishna conscious. They need that, we need that training. We don't know the culture. So Jai Pataka Swami was very fortunate when he was a young man, he got the opportunity to be sent to India. He had not even turned 20 years of old, years of age. He was still 18 or 18 years old. Yeah. Yeah. And at that time, we had no temples, no ISKCON temples in India. So he had to live in the temple of the Gaudiya Mat. Right? You've seen the Vaishnava songbook. That's written by, compiled by Achyutananda. So at that time, Jaipataka and, and Jaipataka Swami and Achyutananda Swami, the two of them, they were young brahmacharis, they got sent to India and they lived in the Gaudiya Mat. And then of course then Prabhupada came with devotees and then we began our own temples. And Jaipataka Swami, he was at one point he was the temple president of Calcutta. Yeah, he told us one time, he was saying that he was the president, he was made the president six times. <laughs> because he would become the president, then the person who was in charge of GBC at that time he said, No, not you, I don't want you. Yeah. <laughs> And then Prabhupada would come back and make him the temple president. <laughs> so it happened like that six times. Every time Prabhupada would put him back in charge. <laughs> and then when they got the land at Mayapur, then he was sent there to Mayapur. And he is living there in Mayapur. So he is working with all the Bengali people. He learned the Bengali language. Yeah. And when Prabhupada would come, I remember Prabhupada giving a lecture in Mayapur. After the lecture, he would say to Jaipataka Swami, now you translate the lecture to Bengali. <laughs> <laughs> so like this, Prabhupada was training him for preaching in Bengal. And Prabhupada gave him a blessing, he said, you should have 50,000 disciples. So now I think last year or the year before he said he had 35,000. So he's on the way to fulfilling Prabhupada. Of course, of course his health has been a it's not helping him, it's not made it any easier for him. And actually I heard, actually he, he wants many, he wants some of his disciples to start initiating. Yeah, 
Because he has so many senior disciples who are very qualified. But there are some members on the GBC who say no, this is no, they have to wait until he leave until we leave the body. After he leaves the body then. But Jampataka Swami would actually like to see his, some of his disciples begin to initiate. So one of the countries which I visit where Jampataka Swami is the GBC is Malaysia. 有一个地区国家是加帕斯瓦米,它是GBC的国家是马来西亚。And he had, you know, we can see nice yantra there, they've developed nice temples. 我们看到那个地方的一家主发展特别好,有特别美的好看的庙宇。Many devotees, good number of devotees there. 那里有大量的奉献者。so Jaipataka Swami is the inspiration behind all everything there. So I, I, I was remembering also uh, in, in, in the beginning of Mayapur uh, where, where, Prabhu, where you know that lake there in Mayapur? There's a lake there, and there's a big lake and a fountain in the middle. Yeah, you've seen that late. So we used to always, before, in the beginning of Mayapur, it was not so, you know, there was no Prabhupada Samadhi, and we would go swimming in that big lake. Uh, Jai Pataka Swami is a very strong swimmer. When he was healthy, he was very, very strong, powerful swimmer. Yeah, you can see the pictures the devotees have put around the building showing him when he was young. So he was very he's tall, very tall, he's very powerfully built. So he was a powerful swimmer. So it happened one time in Malaysia. We were at a convention. We had gone to this one place. It was an an island, and there was a big. We had a big convention there. Convention. Uh, uh, it was on an island. So we went swimming. And you know, when we were out swimming, because the sea was a bit rough. The, we met these young boys, they said to Jaipataka Swami, they said, can you save us? We're trying to get back to the land, but we can't get back. So Jaipataka Swami had to take one of them, took first of all one of them back, and then came back and got the other boy and took him back. How many boys? Two boys. He said two lives that day. Two lives. He said two lives. He said two lives. He said two lives. He Shakes people physically, he saves them also spiritually. One of the things which used to happen regularly in Mayapur, because devotees were all so young and youthful and passionate, they would have wrestling contests. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite, became like a regular event. 
。Jai Pataka Swami also like to wrestle。完了那时候都年轻人嘛，都就喜欢打，喜欢闹，互相互相打较力。Jai Pataka Swami 也喜欢玩这种游戏，也喜欢跟别人摔跤。So、uh, A devotee from Malaysia was telling me how one day they were at the banks of the Ganga and they were enjoying swimming in the Ganga, and then came back to the shore and they were resting. And some other group of devotees came. They were like American, and they, they and what happened? One boy from the Americans came and challenged this one Malaysian boy for a wrestling match. 啊，有个马来西亚的奉行者告诉我呀，呃，加巴沙那个时候在马雅伯，他们在恒河岸边沐浴完以后一上岸，对面来了一群美国的人，游击风水者，呃，来了一群美国奉行者，完了加巴沙这边是马来西亚奉行者，美国那些奉行者向马来西亚奉行者挑战，要跟他们摔跤。So the devotee from Malaysia said he had to he had to fight with this one boy, and he said. He should have won, but anyway, he lost. He lost the fight. Oh, the Malaysia. 对，他们跟，但是马来西亚分人知道，这个美国分人来一个人要挑战的话，马来西亚的跟他们分人摔跤的话，肯定每摔一次就被摔倒一次，肯定要输。So when the when the Americans won, you know, like, oh, we won, we won. 完了，每一次美国那那个那个队把马来西亚摔跤摔倒以后，美国那队发出了一个胜利，胜利了，我们赢了。So Jayapataka Swami was with the Malaysian devotees. It was like a defeat for them. So the Malaysian devotees just brought Jayapataka Swami to come, to make sure that the Americans were killed. So he said to the American devotees, "Okay, who's going to fight me?" And then Jayapataka Swami said, "To the American devotees, who is going to fight me?" So there was one really big, strong American. 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 So he was picked to fight Jai Padaka. Yeah, he just came and started to push Jai Padaka. So they had a big wrestling. They had a big wrestling. Jai Padaka just started to kick that American man, threw him on the ground. Then Jai Padaka just grabbed the American man, threw him on the ground. Then Jai Padaka just grabbed the American man, threw him on the ground. This is, this is, you know, Jayapataka Swami. He's、uh, very, you know, when he was a young man, he was very healthy, very energetic. The Jayapataka Swami, 年轻的时候，不仅健康，充满了能量。And he also very well learned in the philosophy. 哎，同时他对经典呢，门儿清，老熟悉。I remember one time in Mayapur at the Gorpurnima festival, the devotees. It was after Prabhupada left the planet.、Uh, there was a question which came up, which could not be answered very well. They wanted to know how to give blessings because people always come to devotees for blessings. So how do we give a blessing? Ah, I remember one time in Mayapur, Guru Purnima, Charanya Chaitanya, after that, ah, this is Charanya time. When Charanya was leaving the planet, there was a question. Then there was a person who asked a question. This question was not very well answered. His question was. 呃，奉献者总想要仁慈，这怎么才能？我们应该给什么祝福？啊，我他问奉献者应该给什么祝福？别人都想要祝福，奉献者怎么给祝福？祝福？因为人，因为人们老想来到奉献者面前祈求奉献者祝福。他的问题是，奉献者应该怎么给祝福？祝福？ So devotees, you know, Tamal Krishna Goswami was there. Many different devotees were there. We were not very sure exactly what what to say. What is the right answer? 当时有很多泡泡们，他们会说“古玛尔”在听，不？但在场那些人都不知道怎么恰当的回答这个问题。But Jai Pataka Swami was very clear about this. 但是，杰帕卡·萨米回答了，就特别的干净、清晰。That when Lord Chaitanya was asked to give blessings, he would always bless them. Krishna Vatir Mastu, may your mind be on Krishna. Ah, all the 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 Zhu Chai Tai Nia, 经常给别人祝福，他就说是愿你具永远具有 Krishna 之气。Yeah, this is a blessing which devotees want to give to everyone. 这就是 May your mind be on Krishna. 啊，这就是奉献者给予所有人来的要祝福的人的这个答案，就是愿你的心意永远具有 Krishna 之气。So Jai Pataka Swami, is, 
you know, he's not only familiar, well learned in the, all the Chaitanya Leela, but he knows very well all the Krishna, all aspects of the Krishna conscious philosophy. Uh, and he's always in Krishna consciousness, whatever he's doing. When we would go swimming in the Jalangi at Mayapur, we'd often go swimming in the Jalangi and we'd, we'd take a ball and Jai Pataka Swami would organize it, you know, you'd have to say, Hare, and throw the ball, next person gets the ball, Krishna, and he throws the ball, next, Hare, next person, Krishna, and this way you have to say the next word of the mantra. Oh, we were chanting the holy name. So also I remember also his great enthusiasm for Harinam Sankirtan. Yeah, he liked to always come out and take part in the kirtan. And you can see many Photos and videos recording where he's taking part in different Sankirtan programs. He came to Hong Kong, he came to Hong Kong, he came out with us on Hong Kong in the streets of Hong Kong. Yeah, he liked to always be in, on, on the battlefield chanting Hare Krishna. Uh, he, he liked very much to always uh, preach everywhere, to be preaching everywhere, take every opportunity to preach, to give Krishna consciousness. And we see even now, sometimes when he's in the hospital, in the different medical situations, dealing with doctors and nurses, He's always thinking how to give them Krishna consciousness. Or he meets some other person, some other sick person, and he thinks how to give them Krishna consciousness. So he's, you can see his, uh, how he's so fixed. And just simply distributing the message of Krishna. So this is why you have such a nice yatra here in Nepal. That he's encouraged, he's always been concerned to see the development of the yatra here. And regularly comes and visits. And also make sure everything goes on nicely. And we have, so that's why we were hearing how you have nice relationships with all the different politicians. And before, when the king was there, you were even having relationships with the royal family. Yeah, these people they like to see leaders. And Jatinapataka Swami is a very good leader. He had a lot of association with Srila Prabhupada. Training from Srila Prabhupada. And he's also been training also others who working with him. 
So we are very much grateful to him for his sacrifice. He sacrificed his health, everything for this Krishna consciousness. Now, of course, he is very anxious to see the, the opening of our temple of the Vedic planetarium. Uh,